Hey guys, Lieutenant Lambert here, Wayne Lambert, Southern Manatee Fire Rescue. Today, I want to talk about fall protection for Ladder 339. This is something that I recently designed. It's a rather simple setup. We're going to be using it during training. Now, we have a 107 foot uh, ladder, so it's a rather simple setup. So what I'll do right now is go over the basic equipment that we're going to need, then we'll go over the real setup. Basically, you just need a section of lifeline that's at least as long as the ladder. So we need at least 100 foot of lifeline. We got a figure eight on a bite tied to the end of the rope. That's gonna be, our, that's gonna hook up to our anchor point along with a carabiner. That's all you need to get started. You need your necessary safety equipment uh, and we're ready to go. So let's get started. Okay, we're ready to set up our fall protection on 339. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bag of rope and the lifeline with the carabiner attached to the end of it. We're gonna be running it up the, row, up the ladder and hook it in at the anchor point at the end of the ladder, all right? Here we go. We're at the end of the ladder. Now we're gonna go ahead and hook our lifeline in at the anchor point. That little eyelet right there at the end of the ladder, that's our anchor point. So let's hook it in. We want to turn the bear carabiner the right way and then lock it off. And don't forget to turn back your quarter turn. Test it, we're ready to go. We're tied in at the top and we're ready to put this into action. So at this point, we're going to place the ladder just as we would when we're going to conduct training. We are hooked in at the top. Uh, we got the ladder in place, we're ready to start our training. Now we just have to tie in the bottom of this uh, fall protection and then we'll be ready to put it into action and start. Okay, what we wanna do is tie it in at the bottom of the ladder after it's extended. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tie an inline knot. As you can see, I already have a butterfly tied in here. So we're gonna tie an inline knot. You can use either a inline figure eight or a butterfly. I chose a butterfly. So we have the butterfly knot and we have a big carabiner that will fit around the uh, bottom of the railing of the ladder. Now we don't have to worry too much about anchor points at the bottom because the anchor point and the load is all going to be carried from the top. So basically this is to hold the rope in place. All right, so let's go ahead and put that into action and we can start. Okay. So we got our lifeline here tied in at the bottom. Make sure our knot's good, good to go. As you can see, we're a little bit loose here. So what we're gonna do is we can extend the ladder just a little bit to tighten up the rope. We have now extended the ladder. We got our lifeline snug. So we're almost ready to put this into action. The last thing we have to do is put our ladder belt with our Gibbs ascender onto the lifeline. So as you can see here, Here's my Gibbs ascender. Now on this Gibbs ascender has an arrow pointing up. You want to make sure that that arrow is pointing up to the end of the ladder, okay? So we'll put that into place. Okay, that's in place, arrow pointing up. Now at this point, what we have to do is hook it up to our ladder belt. Now, as you can see on this ladder belt, the carabiner is really big. So we had to make a modification to, to make it fit the Gibbs ascender. So what we did was, I put a prussic cord in the middle and doubled it up, hooked it up to our big carabiner that's on the ladder belt. And then I put one of our regular size carabiners at the end of the, of the uh, prussic cord. So that's going to go ahead and hook up to the Gibbs ascender. All right. So that's hooked up. We want to make sure that our carabiner's on the right way, point in the right direction. Back off, quarter turn. We're ready to start climbing. Okay, now we're ready to start training. So we're going to ascend the ladder. 
And as we're ascending, this Gibbs ascender will free run up, up along your lifeline. So as you're climbing up, it's gonna go with you. So we're gonna go up a few feet and then we're gonna load it and show you how it works if you happen to get into some trouble. Okay, now let's say that I started to have some trouble here and I'm losing my balance and I feel like I'm gonna fall or I started to lose my balance and fall. What's gonna happen is, as you can see, the Gibbs ascender has locked onto the lifeline and is not allowing me to go anywhere. So instead of falling all the way off the ladder, I am now gonna be loaded onto this lifeline, probably up against the, the rungs. It's not the most comfortable position to be in, but it's a lot better than falling all the way to the ground. All right? Once we're done training and you wanna start coming down the ladder, um, what you're gonna to have to do is, because this Gibbs ascender is gonna to wanna to lock off, so what you want to do is you want to mind it. You want to mind it with your left hand or your right hand if you're on the right side. You just grab the Gibbs ascender in your hand, keep it unlocked, and then you just come down the rope. All you have to do. And then you want to make sure you maintain your points of contact with your legs and your other hand. And then you just come right down. And again, if you were to have trouble here, you just let go and it'll lock you off just like we talked about before. We're all done with our fall protection for ladder 339. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys uh, got something out of it. And I hope you understand it. Uh, like I said, it's an easy, quick setup, easy to put into action, and uh, it seems to work very well for us. So that's all. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.